This is one of my standard, uh, I do this with pretty much all my agency tests. Um, and that's, when I say agency tests, that's just a shorthand for tests that are just kind of like quick and fun. And you know, it's, it's more about the model and, and, and capturing who she is versus like fashion or creating a story necessarily. Um, so this is a standard kind of uh, V-flat coat, which I'll set up right here. You just have two V-flats, a uh, quarter inch, uh, or sorry, a half an inch. Definitely want to spring for the half inch foam core. It's so much more sturdy. Really create just a nice, beautiful, soft light indirect. We've got an overcast day today. You'll notice uh, I'm going really slow and I'm not firing a lot. It's a bad habit to shoot like a ton and kind of hope this is a shotgun method, like kind of hope you get a good one. You should try to really pay more attention and, and shoot with purpose and exactingness, which is a word I just made up, versus this like spray, spray and pray. So unlike using the manual focus 50 and shooting deliberately slow, both because of manual focus and because I just want to shoot slower, I'm now being a hypocrite and I'm actually going to be bursting a lot on this. But not because I just kind of want to see what I get, but because I'm actually going to increase uh, the speed of her movement. Um, there's just something aesthetically about uh, motion as captured as a still that really appeals to me uh, because life is not perfectly in focus, life is definitely not tack sharp. Life is blurry and always in motion, and just that's kind of what I like. I will be like, this will be shooting a lot in row, but that's because you're moving so fast. Uh, yeah, exactly. So really, this is like you're going to be really using your whole body. See how, see how I'm swinging my body like this? Like, so just go. All right. And for you, for you watching at home, I, I have the 7200 on, um, but I'm about one, I'm about one third. Oh, she's smiling. That's a nice picture. Um, I'm, a, I'm about 135 on a focal length here. Uh, I purposely are, am shooting wider, even though this is going to be extreme close-ups. I shoot wide-ish uh, so I can change my aspect ratio and my crop. Uh, standard crop uh, sensor, full frame sensor is 2x3. I'll usually back it out so I can crop about 11 by 14 or 4x3, uh, which are a little bit more squarish, which is just it just looks different from full frame sensor, but also a lot of magazines are, are more in that aspect ratio than, the, than like the standard two by three full frame. Uh, so you can kind of make your images look a little different just by adjusting the aspect ratio. It, yeah, it's kind of like do weird stuff. You know. Good direction, do weird stuff. So here's an extreme example, friends. Uh, I'll bring these in real, real close like that. And just watch her face. Like it starts getting really, really um, uh, dark. And the light now co is coming in from the top. So this is going to be a really interesting effect versus opening this up. Now the light, a lot more on there. So you just kind of got to play with it and, and to see what you like. Look at that. Look at the catch light in her eye now. Like see how, see how like vertical it is? And like there's a sliver of it. It goes from the bottom of her eye right to her pupil. Ever, ever look at Calvin Klein ads, for, especially from the 90s when all the models were like, uh, oh, I have no, I have no neck. Uh, uh, life's so hard, we're so young and pretty. Anyone have any cocaine? Thanks for watching. Also, like and subscribe. And be sure to tell a friend. <laughs>